Now we practice objective questions based on this, which can come for two or three marks. Page hundred and eleven, section D, question twelve. The information obtained on the basis of ranks given by two judges to and then eight contestants. What is that? Eight. 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 N equals to eight. Of a dance competition is given below. Now raise your hand. What do you mean by sigma? R x minus R y whole square. Put it. Raise your hand. When I ask to raise your hand, then raise your hands only. Put up sigma R x minus R y whole square means sigma d square. That is 126. Now when R x and R y are the ranks given to a contestant by the two judges respectively, find the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. Only formula has to be applied. All the information is directly given. So, put up R equals to 1 minus 6 sigma d square upon n into n square minus 1. But everyone, please put the values. 1 minus 6 into sigma d square 126 is yes, n is 8, so 8 into 8 square minus. So 1 minus 756. 6 into 126, 756 upon 8 into 64 minus 1. 1 minus 756 upon 8 into 63. 1 minus 756 upon 504. 8 into 63. Do you all get 504? Yes. How much is 756 upon 504? 1.5. Exact. Yes. So minus 0.5. Okay. Moderate degree of negative correlation. Neither high nor low. Moderate. Exactly in between. Is it even clear? Look at question number 30. Yes, dear reader. The ranks. Another the word ranks. Anyone still solving this twelfth question? All have completed. The ranks given by two experts on the basis of interview of five candidates for a job are. Now you are given the values in bracket. What does that mean? R X and R Y. First one is the rank of X and second one is the rank of Y. So directly R X and R Y are given three five five four one two two three and four one. Any confusions with this? Directly the ranks are given. Did you understand? In bracket, first is x, and second is y. Directly we are proceeding with d. That is r x minus r y. Three minus five, five minus four, one minus two, two minus three, and four minus. Positive is four, negative is also four. Further we require d square. So minus two square is four, one square is one, one one, and three square is nine. So nine, ten, eleven, twelve, sixteen. Any confusions up till here? Now R is equal to one minus six sigma d square upon n into n square minus one. So one minus six into sixteen upon five observations are there. So five into five square minus one. One minus six into sixteen is ninety-six upon five into twenty-five minus one. One minus 96 upon 5 into 25 minus 1 that is 24. Stop talking. 1 minus 96 upon 120 that is 1 minus 0.8 that is 0.2. Is everyone clear with this? Anyone having any doubt in it? Now here are exercise 2.3. Shall I erase this? Everyone has completed. Look at question number eight, page number hundred. Mark it important. We did this type of question in Carl Pearson's yesterday. Question number eight. See the coefficient of co rank correlation of marks obtained by ten students. What is that? N. And on n is equal to ten. In two particular subjects was found to be zero point five. What is zero point five? R. R. Rank correlation is directly given as zero point five. Later on. It was found that one difference of rank of a student was seven, but it was taken as three. Means seven is the correct one, and we have taken as three as the wrong. Seven is the correct. It was actually seven, but was taken as three. Means wrongly we have taken as. So in D square we would have included forty-nine and nine. Any doubts with this? Means is this rank correlation correct or wrong? Wrong. Wrong. Because instead of seven, we have taken three. three. So automatically, d, d square has gone wrong, and rank correlation also is wrong. Therefore, they say find the corrected value of correlation coefficient. What we will do is first with the help of R formula, we will find sigma d square, which will be the wrong one. Then from that sigma d square, we will minus. 
9 as we did in Carl Pearson's also and we will add 49. Then again we will reapply the formula of rank correlation with correct value of sigma. Okay, what will we do first? Applying the formula of R we will find sigma d square but that will be wrong sigma d square. How will you find correct sigma d square? Minus 9 that is the wrong one plus 49 that is the correct one. Once we get correct sigma d square, what will we do? We will reapply the formula of R with correct value. Is everyone clear with this? So, play down. First, R is equal to 1 minus 6 sigma d square upon n into n square minus 1. Did you all write this? Now, what will we take in place of R? 0 0.5 on the left side. 1 minus 6 sigma d square is what we have to find upon n is 10 in bracket 10 square minus 1 0 0.50 1 minus 6 sigma d square upon 10 into 100 minus 1 0 0.50 1 minus 6 sigma d square upon 10 into 99 0 0.50 1 minus 6 sigma d square upon 10 into 99 that is 990 any doubts up till here? Zipa, what next? Wrong. Anyone else raise your hand? What next? With? Yes. Or else. Why we cannot do 0 0.5 into 990? Because it's not whole upon 990. If it is whole divided by 990, then you can do 990 into 0 0.5. Listen carefully now. Bring this entire part on the left side. So minus becomes plus. Bring 0 0.5 on the right side. So this 6 sigma d square upon 990 we will bring on the left side 0 0.5 we will bring on the right side raise your hand who did not understand this step all are clear with this now 6 sigma d square upon 990 is equal to 1 minus 0 0.5 that is also 0 0.5 any confusions with this then tie your next step so what will happen yes 990 on the other side will get multiplied 6 sigma d square equals to 0 0.5 into 990 that is 495 and what will happen with 6 it will get divided 6 on the right side will get divided so 495 divided by 6 how much is that 80 2 point any confusions in this this is wrong sigma d square. okay now we have to subtract 9 and add 49 and now, correct sigma d square is equal to 82.5 minus 9 plus 49. So 122.5. Raise your hand who did not understand the correct value of sigma d square. Now we will apply the formula of R again. Taking what sigma d square? 122.5. So correct value of R will be 1 minus 6 sigma d square upon n into n square minus 1. That is 1 minus 6 into 122.5 upon 10 into 10 square minus 1 that is 1 minus 730 735 upon 10 into 100 minus 1 1 minus 735 upon 10 into 99 1 minus 735 upon 990 now what is 735 upon 990 0 0.7 four, so 0 0.26 is the correct value of R. Did all of you understand this? Solve question 7 on your own and discussing it.